I got a call through my agent from Andy Harris wanting to meet me at the Croucher Club in London, a um, place I was quite familiar with from the old days. And I was very excited about that. I didn't know what it was about, but I did know Andy by reputation because he'd done some fabulous things. He did you know, The Queen and The Deal and um, The Damned United and some wonderful television, especially Wallander, which was out um, at that time. And he asked me if I'd read these um, books by Michael Dibton about a, an Italian detective called Aurelia Zen. And I said no, and he told me a little bit about it, and I just had two questions. I said, is it funny? And he said, yeah, it's quite funny. I said, OK, carry on. And that was, for me, the most important question. If I was going to be involved in a series, that it was something, not that it needed to be slapstick, but not something where I had to mask off a whole large part of myself. I'm not suggesting that I'm hilarious, but just my sense of humour is a very important part of me, and if I'm going to be playing something with which I become identified, I want to be able to use a lot of myself. So I read the books and was delighted at the, in the character and how much scope there was and how many different Zens there were, you know, like a lot of real people. Um, he was different things to different people and different things in different books and at different times. So he produced a script that was um, written by Stephen Burke and it was really exciting. That's when it really started cooking because I read it and I could imagine doing it. And somehow his, Stephen Burke's reaction to the books was the same as mine. It was funny. And it had a zip and a kind of screwball quality to it that was really exactly what I'd hoped. From then on, I mean, right from the start, I was enthusiastic. But it's very unusual for people to come to me with stuff, or at least it has been, that isn't period drama. And I, you know, I've said this before, I've got no particular, I'm not anti-period drama. And if I was offered a good role in one tomorrow, I'd do it. But is it something I'm fond of? No, I don't really care. I don't care what, what I'm wearing. As far as I'm concerned, I'm more excited about doing modern stuff because I've done less of it. So I was, I personally immediately thought he was a genius because he was offering me a role, you know, so I thought he must be very clever. And from then on, it's just developed. And we went to Rome and we were there for four months. And uh, I had tremendous fun doing it. And they're actually fun to watch as well. Mm -hmm.